Yes, sir, my life is full of adventure. Um, today, another interesting thing happened in the midst of my routine. Um, I went, I was parked at next door, and, but I went to the Gold Nugget to get on the list for the poker game. And, you know, I have $50 in comps. So I'm like, you know, I'm gonna treat myself to a delicious lunch at Lily's. Of course, I order something affordable on the menu. I believe it was, I don't know. I paid $10 of my comps, hard earned comps for it. Um, the stir fried broccoli with rice. Of course, on the menu, it says garlic rice is an option or garlic fried rice. But, no, can't get it, uh, only uh, steamed white rice, which is fine, I love it. Um, <clears throat> I asked for spicy after the fact and asked to get some uh, chili peppers and the server brought brown pepper, which I'm like, okay, you actually said chili oil first so why anyway so I eventually got the chili oil meanwhile I'm called to the poker game um, and I'm gonna get ready to pay and I put out my golden nugget card and she asked for ID oh shoot you know it's in my vehicle uh, I've carried a smaller version of my wallet downsized with me for a week or so and the ID isn't always in it so I'm like oh my bad you know it's it's I can get it I just have to walk to my vehicle do you have anything else of, you know for ID no um, here's all my wallet with hundreds of dollars in it and credit cards with my name on it. Oh uh, no, that's not any good. Um, can you leave some collateral? And it's like, no. <laughs> I mean, come on. So she calls security. I was friendly. I mean, I don't know what her deal was, but she just wanted to escalate the situation because she wasn't getting her way which is absolutely uh, stupid in a customer service situation you want to try to smooth things over and it, she's like um you know i'll lose my job you know if i don't take your id for a ten dollar comp you know it's like relax i i already said i'll go get it but Security was called and, you know, chalk up the win, you know, Little Miss uh, Server, uh, you know, is getting her way now. And of course, the security that came was the lady I had just uh, spoke to outside of the poker room, so she knew me. She knows I'm a regular here. And I explained, you know, the situation to her that uh, I thought that asking for collateral was completely ridiculous since I already offered to walk over to my vehicle. I have hundreds, literally hundreds of dollars uh, to pay for the meal, but of course, what are comps for, you know? Anyway, so she walked, you know, she walked with me. She was very nice. I have to give her props. She very sweet lady and I walked over to the poker room and explained the situation how I missed the game and needed to be back on the list and and had a situation at Lily's where I was gonna be another 20 minutes or so uh, at least to walk to get my ID because you know the, the casino is like I don't know how far it is. I, I clocked it one time. I think it takes at least eight minutes walking fast to get to between the casinos because 
you, you only have so much time to get to your poker game before they give you your seat away. So I have had this happen before. Um, anyway, so walking back, I'm like, you know, I, I got to just spring something on them when they, you know, when I get back. Um, so I walk back in and um, give her my ID. She's really friendly. And, uh, th you know, the manager was involved before. And I asked for the manager and she says, oh, my general manager is here now good timing so <laughs> so meanwhile the manager I spring on him like you know I'm a travel vlogger on YouTube so there's that and guess what your review is likely gonna be for a customer service at this restaurant and it's a reflection on the casino in general and uh, the general manager comes up to me and introduces himself and I'm still waiting for an apology for whatever reason the customer service people at this casino uh, you know you have to kind of wrench an apology and the suggestion of giving an apology um, it doesn't come natural in this place I've had I've had, uh, you know, my comps disappear and have to go through customer service and they give you less <laughs> than you lost. And this happened to me twice. The second time I'm like, it was only $5, but it's like I had $7 and she offered to give me $5 and it's like, what do you think this is? You're, you're stealing our money and you just give some of it back anyway she was ultimately nice but I had to make the suggestion she's like what do you want me to say and it's like well you could offer an apology and she was nice at that point very friendly and did you know make up for it but anyway in this situation uh, the general manager, his name was Chad, he was great. Um, I, I told him the situation and I, I was a travel vlogger and also new customer service and, and I couldn't believe that the server escalated this over a $10 comp when I, you know, there was no reason to suspect that I was a dine and dash individual. Um, you know, it's it's the 2021, so I mean, criminality is kind of hip these days, but not for me. Um, I'm against it, you know. <laughs> so, so Chad was really nice. Uh, I I I said to these managers, you have an opportunity to end this story on a positive note and uh, after you know talking to Chad for a couple minutes he shook my hand and uh, said he was sorry he wouldn't have handled it that way and was very nice uh, you know he was great unfortunately you know you have these situations where people young people or people in general, I don't know, just don't know how to give good good customer service. And it's kind of like, especially at a casino, I, I said to Chad, you know, you want to give good customer service, especially at a, a casino, because you want your customers coming back. You want, that's why they give comp money. Uh, to spend at the restaurants and have a great experience not to have security called when you don't present an ID you know I didn't have an ID with me the last time and you know we worked it out it was no big deal anyway 
use your heads, people. You got a business to run. You want to keep your customers happy. You know, don't take them for granted. That's all. Very simple. That's why some people are general managers and some people, you know, just pray that they don't get in a situation of management ever because that's why, you know, businesses fail because they hire the wrong people. See that all the time. It's sad, really. Another thing sad is how they uh, upkeep the grounds here. There's kind of a no man's land between uh, these two casinos and it's really horribly taken care of. Litter, uh, vandalism, um, I mean, it's been there all summer. I mean, no one comes to pick it up, clean it up. So, I mean, it's kind of a, an impression. It's, it's not the worst deal to have wind uh, from storms blow over your furniture and your tablecloths. But, um, you know, it leaves a bad impression. Okay, someone did uh, come and pick all these up or replace them. Yeah, I mean, they might be new, but, uh, you know, for a week at least, these things were all popped off and thrown into the no man's land.